Hello, my beautiful Aqua. Welcome to Lady of the Unknown Oracle. My name is Sophie. Welcome in. For those of you who are joining me for the first time, I am so excited to be connecting with you. I hope you enjoy your message. If you do, please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. I would love to know how you're doing. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for allowing me to reconnect with you. I hope that you enjoy your reading as well. Thank you for all of your love and support. You make what I do possible. I love you to the moon and back, Aqua. Thank you so much for, for being with me again. So my love, we're going to go ahead and jump right into your reading. This is a general message, okay? General reading. So this may or may not resonate with your current situation. If you find that none of this situation sounds like what you're currently experiencing, then please do not worry about the message, right? Don't force the details of your current experience into what we go into today. Just throw this out the window, right? It's not for you if it's not for you. Um, for others of you, though, you'll find that this really does resonate with your current situation. And if it does, I hope it provides you clarity and guidance moving forward. We will be doing an extended reading um, after the general reading, which I will leave the link to in the description box below, as well as pinned to the top of the comment section down below, along with a link to my personal booking system in case you would prefer to have a, a personal reading done instead of an extended, right? Um, but in the extended, we will go into the person that you're connecting with. Um, you know, their feelings for you, their emotions towards you, the advice coming out, like coming through the situation, your best advice um, and movement forward through the situation, as well as what the long-term outcome between you and this person in this situation are after the situation resolves, right? After all, everything is said and done, what are you looking at in the long-term future? We can also, depending on what shows up in the spread, right? We'll see what shows up. But if we have, you know, big beginnings, new beginnings, new love, things of that nature, then we'll also add that to the extended and, and, and look into that. At the end of the general reading, though, we will go into what is going to be discussed in the extended reading. So you can hop on over to the end of the reading where we discuss exactly what we're going to cover in the extended. So that way you kind of know more or less what we're going to cover. Okay, so Aqua, without further ado, let's look at the cards. I went ahead, like in our last readings together, I went ahead and pulled from the Oracle cards myself to get an idea and a feel for what elements are involved for you. But you and I will be pulling from the tarot together to get additional messages. All right, so. Aqua, good for you, okay? Good for you. There looks to be a masculine energy, um, a masculine energy here that you have ended things with. Coffin is like the death card, right? So a transformation, but instead of something changing, Coffin is just really saying something is over, like over, over. Could this be implying somebody passing away? That's not how I'm reading it, okay? That's not how I'm reading it. Um, you know, I can see very briefly based on the cards that are here for a small group of you, I can definitely see how as a result of your spouse passing away, you've moved into a new living situation um, and now you've recently gotten remarried, possibly are pregnant with another with with a child, right? Um, a brand new life outside of this situation, and you're afraid possibly that opening your heart to another person in this way could be um, bringing in new pain and suffering. Um, but that's for a very small group of you. I feel like for the majority of you, there is a sense, right? A sense of fear, possibly even with the come to the edge and round and round that by opening up your heart to a new person, right? So the same sort of message, opening up your heart to a new person will be the end of you, right? That um, you're better off kind of being alone, being single from this person. Why do I say that? Because you are coming in as the mature woman, which is the counterpart of the mature man, along with change. So there's something here that you have decided, right? Along with the ending with this person that you've decided you want to change your living situation. You want to change something big in your life right coming in after that is the marriage card so there might be someone that you're already involved with right there could be someone that you're already involved with uh, and this has to do with the fact that possibly your mature man has made an appearance back into your life and doesn't like the fact that you've you know come into your own so well and have recently moved in with a new person we've got privileged lady here with house so you may have moved in with somebody you know you may have moved in with someone as a result of this marriage um or vice versa, right? You might have gotten married with someone after spending some time living with them. You might have uh, uh, left somebody who you thought was going to be a good match for you behind. And now you are happily engaged and about to be married with someone. You might already be pregnant. Uh, but overall, right, there's somebody here that does make you feel very at peace, much more grounded, right? Much more grounded. But for those of you who are not yet connecting with a new person, right, this is the fact that you are reflecting on what went wrong in this situation with this person and you're realizing that there was something here you let go on for way too long that you're kind of kicking yourself in the head a little bit aqua that you saw the red flags and didn't do anything about them right 
right? For some of you, eh, let me clarify this change card before I say anything. What's this change here for? For some of you, this is a third party situation where this person that you're leaving things behind with, um, you realize that, you know, there were just, for some of you, they were involved with a third party and they brought the third party to your house, you know, or that this person was secretly in a long-term commitment with somebody throughout the duration of your guys' commitment, your marriage or what have you, that they were also in something for just as long, for just as long. Aqua, you might have Sagittarius in your chart or you could be connecting with a Sag. Um, Sag had a very similar, had a, had a similar energy, not exactly, but there were, there were snippets of the, of the reading that resonated very strongly with this one. What does this change, please? Toil and labor. So you're just tired of working on something, right? You're changing, you're changing what you're applying yourself to, right? If you're going to be suffering, it's not going to be to try to make something work that you know isn't going to work. So that's the thing, Sag, right? It's just... Something here doesn't jive with you very well anymore. And you're either on your way, right? You're already in cahoots with a brand new person and you are planning things out moving forward, right? Or you are just kind of reflecting back at what you've left behind with this person and saying to yourself, you know what, there, I do want a commitment, but right now I'm really just focusing on myself. You could be buying, wanting to buy a house, Aqua, right? For some of you, it's about just getting, getting it's, it's about no longer thinking of yourself in the concept on the in the context of being somebody's counterpart and learning how to be solo right learning how to lead your own life you could be wanting to save for a house you could want you could be wanting to prepare yourself for marriage but in order to do that you you need to be good by yourself you need to be stable by yourself no more of this you know well what about this person and oh and oh now it's time for me to do like on your list of things to do you've got half of those of those things that you have to do it's like for other people Right? No more of that. No more of you know spending so much time on other people's stuff when they should be doing it themselves. Right? It's like taking time for yourself, being excuse me, being selfish. Right? Being selfish, being okay with with you know just doing what you need to do, take care taking care of your business. Right? Handling your free time. Whatever this was though, right? This is an ending. This is an ending for all endings, right? You and this person. And what you're doing is you're just trying to cope, Aqua. You're just trying to cope. You're trying to reframe your perspective and look at things in a way that reminds you that it's okay to be single. It's, o it's okay to not see yourself as somebody else's counterpart. It's okay to get your stuff, your ducks in a row, and it doesn't make you selfish just because you want to take care of yourself. I saw the lovers there, so you could be connecting with a Gemini. Okay. Strong soulmate energy. So I've seen Leo in the cut now and um, see Leo, Gemini, and I saw a, the Hanged Man as well, so Pisces. Nine of Cups, yeah, so you're happy, but happy without, uh, happy without this person or at the very least you're going to learn how to be happy so if you're at the point now where you just ended things with someone you will be coming into a space where you feel very very happy being with, around other people happy in the in other people's company feeling very lucky underneath the deck of course we've got the nine of pentacles what were we just saying aqua right absolutely right feeling very in tune feeling very happy feeling uh, abundant self-reliant right you don't depend on anybody you're able to get all of your again your ducks in a row you are happy you're happy and you don't need this person to feel complete right so your your starting energy is the moon you could be connecting with a cancer or a pisces right cancer pisces energy but overall, it feels to me like you've gotten clarity, right? You could be a little confused, to be honest. Confused, sad, anxious, right? The devil energy is your challenge. You could be connecting with a Capricorn. It's about the fact that you feel kind of stuck on this person still, right? For all we know, right? Y'all are, are mature people, right? Mature woman, mature man. But maybe the relationship you had wasn't long term. Maybe that's just speaking to your guys' experience. Regardless of age, you guys just kind of were on the same wavelength. And you thought you were both serious about the situation. You know, and, um, you know, maybe 
the physical attraction was through the roof, right? At the very least, though, if someone does have a, a sort of depression or anxiety or, or anything of that nature, it could have been that being with this person just helped you kind of keep your esteem up, right? You latched on because they they helped you not feel so alone. And that's there's nothing wrong with admitting that awkward, you know? People don't want to feel alone. They don't want to feel lonely. And it's okay to have a moment in your life where you discover that emotion and you realize how it doesn't serve you. That's a that's a life in that's a, a lesson in life to learn, you know. So that's okay. This is where you're at probably, right? If not you, then of course it could be the person that you're connecting with, Aqua. If, if I've mentioned some of the signs that you're connecting with, this could be their reading, and you are cross watching for them, right? It, without really realizing it, but. Absolutely, a sense here of wanting to break away from some something toxic, a codependent energy. On your mind is a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, Knight of Swords. On your mind is just you speaking your peace. I do feel though that this is speed, right? It's not so much communication for me the way I'm seeing this. It's more of just the speediness of the change. You're ready to get on the horse and just pursue a life that feels more honest, feels more secure, and that to be truthful, is something that you won't that you don't mind being a part of right there might have been something burdensome about the relationship you left behind and coming in you're just really eager to get your footing on this new life in your heart space you feel the six of wands that's what i'm saying like you know where there might be anxiety and stress there's still a sense here that you did the right thing there's still a sense here that people are praising you right for for uh disconnecting from a situation that was otherwise very very unhappy for you in the recent past, you did have the Ten of Cups, right? But what did we get popping out as, you know, surrounding your current energy as well is the Nine. So notice, right, that this is a family situation. This is a friendship situation. So recent past, you might have had this family unit. Uh, unit. And you, in losing it, right, in losing it, in losing it, it's, it's, you know, it's brought you a sense of loss coming in you've got the four of pentacles so someone is going to try to salvage what they can whatever's left someone might try to be greedy right so if, there, if this is a divorce for some of you right um again th with the coffin energy having come up in the oracle that's a big ending right that's a big ending so whatever it was that you guys were working on there might have been money involved resources you guys you know this could be a, a matter of the fact that somebody had to move out in order to really claim this ending someone is deciding well you lived in my house so everything that's here is mine and now they're being greedy as a way to make the ending difficult you know oh yeah i know you've got thousands of dollars worth of jewelry in my house but it's my house so they're being real petty right they're being real petty they're being real greedy real miserly and they're just saying you know what? i know that this is how we should be doing it but the truth is they're like getting really technical about the situation and being like well if you want me to be more compliant, maybe you should follow my rules. But then their rules are not fair, right? Their rules are not fair. So what the hell? You see yourself as death. What were we saying, right? So there's definitely a big ending here. But with death, there is a transformation involved. So you are at a point now with change. And isn't it so funny how that works out? How I, how I was saying, you know, with coffin, coffin's an ending, but it's not truly scorpionic. You know, the, the real death card talks about change. And change is the energy that you had for yourself. And that's how you, like you, you see yourself as the feminine with change. And change is in the how you see yourself position with death, right? So you see yourself as changing, creating a big ending in a situation in order to bring, put yourself in a better position. And the environment is Libra energy, Libra energy here with justice. This, there could be legalities, like we were saying, this could be divorce for some of you, right? This could be divorce. Ultimately though, regardless, it's about finally bringing fairness and justice and balance back into a situation that was very one-sided or at the very least now in the ending has become very one-sided i do see you're going to be achieving victory here there will be victory here okay your fear here is the wheel of fortune you're afraid that the person that you're connecting with is going to have it their way you're afraid that the the skills are going to tip in their favor no queen of swords as your outcome okay you are going to cut people out you are not dealing with no bs you are not dealing with lies ace of pentacles i'm just pulling additional clarifiers now right ace of pentacles five of swords no longer dealing with manipulation you are moving forward in a new beginning right knight of pentacles you could connect with a taurus virgo capricorn later down the line you you could be connecting with this person now right so for example this person is your block 
right? The, the block is a, is a Capricornian energy here. Only Capricorn, okay? If you identify with this devil energy, then it's connected to this person, this Cancer Pisces that you're connecting with, or just the person who is the source of your anxiety and, and sadness right now. But if this is a Capricorn earth sign that you are connecting with right now, the fact that you want to be with them, but you're still tied up in whatever this is, and you so you, you have a new beginning here, but you can't pursue it just yet, because if you do, the person that you're, that you're trying to sever ties with, they're in this like petty mode where they'll make it as difficult as possible and make it like near impossible for you to really have something with this person like they'll make your life miserable eight of wands energy a message but i feel like this is progress right again like with what is on your mind with the knight of swords i feel like this is really just an indication of speed right it's an indication of speed that you're ready to move forward as quickly as humanly possible in the situation you can you have your eyes set on this new beginning right so this this queen of swords here i feel like you're just you're really ready to break out of this mold you're ready to break out of whatever limitations there were between you and this person right you're really not you're not connecting with the situation like you used to right you're not connecting with the situation like you used to Someone isn't going to be real petty. Seven of Cups. Yeah, someone someone here thinks that there might still be a way, right? That, that there's still options for you guys. There's still a way that you can make something work. All right. So what's this Four of Pentacles? Okay, what's this Four of Pentacles, please? These cards are like half popping out and not really. Four of Pentacles, please. What's this Four of Pentacles about? The devil, what are we saying? Right? That's smothering, that real smothering energy. Five of cups. Four of cups. They don't care like they say they care. Beware, okay? They, they're just, they don't know how to deal with grief. That's the problem. All they know how to do is latch on. The person you're connecting with, they just know how to latch on. Queen of wands. They could be attracted to you again through the sex, right? Through, through attractiveness. You might really be a gem, like completely out of their league. Aqua, you could just be real out of their league, and so they're holding on to you because you're a trophy, right? For as long as they can have you and say that you're theirs, they'll happily tout around the fact that you guys are together. But that's really it. There's no, there's no love here, right? They're they're bored with it. They're disinterested in it. They're not giving to it. The sadness here is just linked in the fact that not, you know, the fact that someone that they really enjoy looking at or like being with rejects them. That's what they're sad. Like that's what they're sad about. It hurts their ego. It hurts the way they, they, they perceive themselves, right? It makes them panic because now they don't have any leverage, right? You made them look impressive. Without you, they look like a bum, right? Without you, they look like a little scrub. Like, without you, they're they're lonely and they just are like a little turd in the wind. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Like, you know, they just, they really, they feel like a piece of belly button lint. Like, let's go there. You know, it, it, come on now. Like, without you, they really, they're, they're struggling to see how being without you could work to their advantage, right? Queen of Wands, again, they just, they see you as a go-getter. They want you on their team, but they're not they're not willing to, to offer you a contract of a high enough price. You get me? So, no. No. Your price is love and affection and respect and honesty, right? And whatever this was that didn't work. You know, whatever this was that, that didn't work, it was a big ending. And you're just trying to, you know, you're just trying to really cut yourself loose from the situation. Now, I am getting here that for some of you, it's you that, that's having a hard time letting go. I just got that now. For some of you, Aqua, this is you having a hard time letting go. Because on some level, while you do, while you do want to separate yourself from this, you realize that there's something here that's not compatible or at the very least... You know, maybe you realize that this person that you're connecting with hasn't been giving to you, right? That this person hasn't been giving to you. It's hard for you to let go, for some of you, right? Just because you're so used to the sex, you're so used to being attached. So this energy here could be, it could, it could go both ways, right? It could be the person feeling this way towards you or you towards them. Queen of Cups, there still could be an emotional attachment here as well, on your part, on your part, Aqua. Right. Um, so let me see this Queen of Swords as your outcome. What's that? What's that about? Queen of Swords in the outcome. Let's see. 
Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're you're doing the Hierophant. So it looks like you'll probably at some point be meeting somebody new. That's that's what we were saying with marriage coming in, right? For some of you, you're already connecting with someone very strong. Okay, very very strong connection. Ace of Swords. Yep, Ace of Wands. Jesus and Justice. Y'all like this is done, <sighs> done. So like, you know, Aqua, you could be having a hard time letting go of something, or someone else is having a hard time letting go of a situation, and it's really kind of bleeding into this new life that you're trying to create for yourself but ultimately you end up becoming you know you become kind of like the harbinger of ending of, of death right here like you end up tapping into this death energy and saying listen i'm so done with you and i'm so done with the bs right because there's a reason this is this reading is about after the ending you've already called the shot it's about you really tying up the loose ends and moving forward and not letting anyone latch on to this to, to the elements that you need for yourself to move forward, right? This is about you getting yourself back on your feet, you being more grounded, you feeling comfortable in the direction that you're heading into. For those of you that are connecting possibly with another Libra, possibly with a Taurus, um, but just really anyone that you do feel like treats you fairly, someone who you do feel very connected with, you know, you guys are going to end up in a very blissful, very beautiful long-term commitment where there's honesty, and passion and fairness and you move forward to in creation you fo you move forward in creation with this person or on your own for some of you the hierophant is about school it's about your career path it's about commitment to yourself it's about your belief system right it's about you being in this very zen state of mind and saying to yourself i am free now to pursue whatever i want to do be whoever i want to be for some of you this is about going to law school right with the with justice and the hierophant it's about finally achieving your dream, pursuing your dream, doing everything that you've always spoke about but never had the chance to create a real happiness. And you're taking everything that you've learned from the situation and moving forward and saying like, listen, I am never going to put myself in this situation again, right? And it's not to say that you can predict how someone's going to you know, evolve or devolve over the course of a relationship, but there might have been certain tells along the way that you could that you now realize in hindsight was was really a, a time to turn left instead of right that you're moving forward and saying okay yeah nope like and now if i want to be with somebody it's going to be after i've achieved everything i wanted in life and then i can let them know like hey this is who i am accept me as i am this is who this is what i do in my spare time this is how i allocate my resources if you have a problem with it bye Right? It's not about checking in with people and it's not about asking for permission to live a life that feels comfortable just because you guys are married or just because you've made a promise to them to never change and now you are changing and now you feel guilty for changing. It's none of that. It's none of that, right? Now you're pursuing something that feels more authentic to you, more representative of you, and you can do that. You could do that in freedom and in bliss, right? You either alone or with another individual. I'm seeing both and all of it's going to pan out correctly. There's going to be truth. There's going to be passion. There's going to be drive and desire and ambition. And there's going to be ultimately a real 10 of cups situation. So ironically, what you left behind in this 10 of cups situation is what you end up bringing back into your outcome. Okay, Aqua. So that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So don't please take it as confirmation. Everything is going to be okay. You made the right decision. I'm seeing that this person is being very petty. In the environment, justice will be on your side. Do not stop standing your ground. Stand firm. Dig your heels into the ground and look at this. Look at this devil in the eyeball. And when it when push comes to shove, do what you feel drawn to do because your intuition and and where you're being led to is completely on point. Completely on point. There's a new beginning here that's waiting for you. Okay. So my love, we're gonna go ahead and take this to the extended. We are going to look into this we're gonna not even gonna look at the person from the past okay we'll look at them very briefly to see what their intentions are right with this four of pentacles the, the person here that's having a hard time letting go of this we'll see like what their intentions are for you not really their emotions because we can kind of tell that they've never really had that much emotion at least not in the way that mattered but they are feeling very petty towards you so we'll see what their intentions are moving forward manipulation and all of that we will go into this new person. If there is a new person for you, we'll see what their feelings are towards you and kind of like what their vision for you guys in the future is if you are connecting with a new love. Um, and then we will go into the advice for you on proceeding through this situation as well as what the long-term outcome is going to look like after all of this resolves. So the new beginning, right? If there is new love or there is just self-love and healing, we'll see kind of like what the trajectory for that is going to look like. You know, 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups, um, you know, any challenges that might arise will all come out in the extended. So if you'll join me there, 
I will leave the link in the extended uh, in the uh, description box below as well as pinned to the top of the uh, comment section down below. I will see you there. If this is where we part ways though and you have um, received your message, I hope that it provides you the clarity and guidance moving forward. Thank you for allowing me to connect with you. I am so grateful. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you felt like this resonated. And I will see you next time, Aqua. Take care.